good morning students and dear students in the previous lecture we have seen how to calculate arithmetic mean or simply mean for a discrete data and that data is ungrouped data now we are going to calculate or find the formula for arithmetic mean for a grouped discrete data group discrete data means what suppose a, for example a, a, an example is given here consider that example suppose number of students who obtained the marks 40 or 5 here the number of students who obtained the marks 40 or 5 we have grouped number of students who have obtained the marks 50 or 4 Number of students obtained the mark 60 are 12, and in this way we have taken a group. Suppose this is a discrete data, then how it is? Then this is 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, and this is this is repeated five number of times. So its frequency is its frequency is so its frequency is five. So this we have to group this. We have grouped this data. In this following table, so we have taken forty five times number of students who obtained the marks forty are five, number of students who obtained the marks fifty are four, number of students who obtained the marks sixty are twelve, number of students who obtained the marks seventy are eight, and in this way, number of students who obtained the marks ninety are three. So we have grouped this data. And all the values are again discrete values means distinct values. And here number of students means this is called the frequency. Frequency means what? That is the number of times a particular value is repeated. Forty repeated four times means forty marks obtained by five students. For this data, how you can obtain the marks? So if you want to use the formula for arithmetic mean, this formula is same. This is x bar is equal to sum of all the observation divided by sum of all the observation divided by number of observation. This is just sum of all observation divided by number of observation. This is the formula for formula for arithmetic mean or simply mean. So what happens here? See, what happens here? This forty repeated five number of times. So we have in this sum, we have to take this forty as a forty five times. That is forty plus forty. So if you want to calculate x bar, then forty plus forty plus forty plus forty because this is repeated five number of times. Plus you have to take this fifty. How many number of times? Four number of times. And this way. But see here, this forty. T repeated five number of times, adding forty five number of times is same as is same as multiplying forty by five is same as multiplying forty by five. So this formula x bar becomes or this formula x bar. This is the first value. Suppose this mark is x here, and this is the first value. This is x one. This is the second value x two. This is x three. This is x4, this is x5, and this is x6. This x1 is repeated, and suppose this is f1. This is f2. Frequency two, frequency three, frequency of the fourth value x4, f5, and f6. So adding 40 five times is nothing but 40 into five or five into 40. So again 50. Adding 50 four times is nothing but 50 into four. So this x bar is how now x bar is x bar is this forty into this five plus this fifty into fifty into four is it okay sixty into twelve plus seventy into eight plus eighty into two plus ninety into three because ninety three is repeat ninety is repeated three number of times or you may just so. This is the sum of all the marks. So the formula, the how the formula is then? Then this formula just forty into five is nothing but we can write this as a five into forty. 
this 40 into 5 can be written as 5 into 40. So, in this case, if this group data is given, in this case, the formula for the arithmetic mean x bar becomes this is f1, this is the frequency of the first value x1, f1 into x1, f1 into this x1, plus f2 into this x2, f3 into x3, and so on, fn into xn divided by see here how many observations are given this is repeated 5 plus 4 plus 12 plus 8 so number of observations equal to this is f1 plus f2 plus and so on plus fn so this can be written as in the summation notation sigma notation sigma is equal to 1 to n fi into xi if i is equal to 1 f1 x1 this plus sigma summation plus f2 x2 so you will get the same things this divided by sigma i equal to 1 to n fi for i equal to 1 f1 plus f2 plus f3 and so on fn so the in a short notation this can be written as sigma fx divided by sigma f sigma x means what this is the sum of all f values and this is the sum of all f into x values so this is the formula in the next we can say the example suppose this is the same example we have taken here this is the same example so if you ask to find the find the mean or arithmetic mean for this data then how we can calculate the mean so question is calculate mean marks for the following data this is the question and this is the data this data is given here this is the data solution for that solution so first we have to take let this x be the variable x be the marks of the students x denotes the marks of the student and f be the what is f and let and let let f be the frequency frequency means what frequency means a number of times a particular value is repeated that is called the frequency so here this marks is denoted by x number of students that is this is the frequency so the mean x bar in this case what is the formula for in this the mean x bar the arithmetic mean x bar is given by the formula How, what is the formula given by this is just x bar is equal to x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f so this is the formula for x bar so in this case we have to find the product this is fx means what this fx is nothing but f into x here fx is nothing but f into x so we have to construct a table where we have to calculate f into x and sum of f into x we also require total See here, this is we have to calculate f into x or simply fx. So this 40 into 5, f, f is 5, 5 into 40. First, first is 5 into 40 is equal to 5 into 40 is how much? 200 okay again 50 into 4 50 into 4 is again 200 okay 12 into 6 720 so 8 into 7 8, sorry 70 into 8 or 8 into 70 this is 560 and 80 into 2 is 160 90 into 3 is 270 this is the 270 
so we have to find total here total we require so this is f total is this total is denoted by this is sigma f sigma f total to how many students are given here 5 plus 4 9 plus this 12 plus 8 is 20 29 plus 2 31 plus 3 34 sigma f is 34 and this is this total is I don't know take here this sigma fx is equal to sigma fx is equal to how much you have to add all these things So last term is 0, next 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 6, 19 plus 2 is 21 plus 0 plus 0. So 1 here, so last one is 2 plus 1, 3 plus 5, 8 plus 7, 15 plus 2, 17 plus 2, 19 and plus 2, that is 2, 1. So, sigma fx is equal to, sigma fx is equal to 2, 1, 1, 0. So, x bar is equal to, so the mean x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f is equal to sigma fx is how much 2 1 1 0 divided by how many number of observations are given here this sigma f is n so this is equal to 34 and take a simple calculator simple calculator simple non programmable calculator is allowed to you so using simple non programmable calculator you can calculate this value of this quotient 2110 divided by 34 and this comes out to be 64.058 so therefore the main marks therefore the main marks main marks is equal to 62.0588 this is approximately equal to 62 so in this way we have to calculate the arithmetic mean for the group discrete data so consider one more example we have already calculated here solved here consider find the mean size of the shoes for the following data see here mean size of the shoe size of the shoes is given uh, 6 cm, 7 cm, 8 cm, 9 cm, 8, 11 and 12 cm are How many number of persons using the shoes of size 6, 4 persons are using, 7 cm, 7 persons are using, likewise there are 3 persons using the shoes whose size is 12 cm. So, in this case, this is the same example. This is x here. So, here let x denotes the size of the shoes. Size of the shoes can be the variable because this can be expressed in terms of numbers and this varies from object to object and f be the frequency that is number of persons. So, we prefer the following table. What we require in this table? See here, this is again a group discrete data. So, how x bar is given for this data? x bar is formula for x bar is summation fx divided by summation f. So, for using the formula x bar is equal to we have to we require this fx. So, we calculated this summation fx here. See here summation fx. So, in this case x bar, how x bar is given? The main x bar is given by x bar is equal to summation fx divided by summation f. So, you have to calculate this sum summation fx. So, this 
So how you calculate it? Summation f x f into x. F x means what here? For your understanding, you can write f into x. This is six into four twenty four seven into seven forty nine. So number of persons are given here. This is summation of fifty seven. This is summation of f fifty seven. And summation f x is five hundred five. Put in this formula. Put in this formula. You will get the the main x bar. Do you understand? So see here, the arithmetic mean for this type of data is given by x bar is equal to summation f x divided by summation f. X bar is summation f x is five zero five divided by fifty seven, and this comes out to be eight point eight five nine six. Therefore, the average size of the shoes is eight point eight five nine six centimeter. Do you understand, students? Okay, thank you, students.